Hello everybody. Uh, first I'd like to say how proud I am of everybody in the last challenge. I haven't started recording the last challenge yet, but I will after I record this video. I'd like to keep things flowing, so I'm going to go ahead and start a new challenge. And that way while you, you know, you're watching your rides being recorded, you could be working on a ride for this challenge. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'm so proud of everybody in this last challenge. Uh, I made some really difficult to follow rules and I say everyone broke a few rules uh, if there's one person who didn't break a rule then it was just only one person but uh, they these were hard to follow rules and uh, and some of you are not English speaking you know it's not your native tongue but, you know, I was really surprised to those who didn't speak English uh, as their first language. They they followed the rules pretty good. I mean, everybody, I believe, broke some rules at one point. But, uh, yeah, uh, I apologize for all the hard-to-follow rules. And, you know, but I, you know, I gave you opportunities to fix the rides, and they've still come back, uh, you know, breaking the rules. Uh, but, I mean, it's not like then I... I I fit them within the rules. I can't say that I fixed them because there really there's nothing wrong with anybody's cars that they sent me. Nothing at all. It just my rules were, you know, uh, hard to follow and maybe a little ridiculous. And I apologize for that. And I promise you this challenge is going to be better because it has only 10 rules and I think they're pretty easy to follow. Uh, so, yeah, I'm really proud of everybody. You know, I don't hold it against you, and I'm sorry that I touched your eyes to defeat them within my rules. And uh, I hope you understand, and I'm very understanding if you're angry, and I hope that, you know, everybody continues to enter my challenges. And, but, okay, let's get started. This is the Ultra Car Challenge. I mean, they have supercars, you know, by my definition, supercars, any car goes over 200 miles per hour, and a hypercar, my definition, uh, you know, may not be the correct definition, but... Hypercar is a car that goes over 250 miles per hour. And what I'm calling ultra car is a car that goes over 300 miles per hour. Okay. So the, the, the story is you're a car maker and you want to beat every production car to the punch. You want, you want to be the first person to produce a car that goes over 300 miles per hour. And so far no car has done that. Now uh, the Hennessy F5, whatever it's called... They claim they did 301 miles per hour, but I don't think it's been proven yet. And I have seen no actual proof of a Bugatti uh, Chiron or Chiron, whatever it's called, of going 288, 288 miles per hour without the rev limiter, which is still not 300. And uh, Koenig 6 got like two cars, I think, maybe the 101 and the Agera, Agera, RS, SR, whatever it's called. You know, they, they get up there pretty high on top speed. But not 300. So anyway, there's just 10 rules. You know, let's go way back to the beginning here. This will kind of help you out. Uh, you can set the year to any, any year that you want. I think you might have the best chance if you set it for 2020. You can't actually see it because well, my camera is angled. I'm afraid to move my camera. It's just, it's not stable right now. But okay, you can see this part. So... You can keep the wagon in the sedan. It'd be funny to have an ultra car wagon, but anyway. Hatchback, okay. Coupe is allowed. Okay, uncheck SUV, uncheck uh, utility, uncheck mover people van, uncheck van. You can have the rest of the car bodies for this challenge. You can use any engine position you want. Uh, the second rule is it has to be at least 300 miles per hour. Third engine rule, I mean, third rule is I'm going to try to do this without, uh, you know, showing too much information of how I built mine. This is okay. The flow chart, it can be red like this or whatever color you want to. This is okay. You know, I talked to Cookie Monster and Cookie Monster brought it to my attention that, you know, this is not engine stress. And I was playing around with it, and I found out it did not hurt the reliability of an engine. So this is okay. You don't have to do 1.00, you know, on a flow bench. That was a that was a silly rule that I, I made up. 
in the last challenge. But this part right here, no percentage of engine stress. None whatsoever. But this is okay. Do whatever you want to over here. And I accomplished this going, I accomplished getting 300 miles per hour out of a, out of a, a what do you call this, OHC 2 valve uh, turbocharge. So it should be fairly easy to get 300 miles per hour, I, I would believe. Uh, I got it getting at least, depending on the vehicle too, you know, 1,300, I mean, 1,937 horsepower and 2,043 foot pounds foot pounds of torque uh, so yeah so no engine stress that's the third rule fourth rule as you can see over here no warning lights no blue no yellow no red warning lights I still think it's possible to do this getting 300 miles per hour without producing any warning lights okay I, well I did want to show you this real quickly uh, no ultimate fuel so use super, premium, regular, low quality if you wish. I, lay it, it's not against the rules, but I prefer you didn't do that. Because then that would make 11 rules. Okay, let's, let's you know, you didn't, you didn't see all the information there, what I did there. But anyway, okay, it, at least one exhaust pipe, doesn't matter which one. And a high flow three way. You have to have a high flow three way. So that's that's a, another rule. And uh, at least one exhaust. You can have two if you want to, but at least one exhaust. Uh, as you can see, you can have dual muffler. I mean, dual exhaust if you want to. But what I mean by one, at least one exhaust is either the first or second muffler. That's what I meant. At least one muffler. That's why I'm sorry. Uh, okay. Next rule is. All wheel drive only because if you got a plus 1900 horsepower car, um, I want some traction. So, no rear wheel drive, no front wheel drive, no four by four. Uh, I want all wheel drive only. Okay, at least two seats. I mean, if I can show you real quick, I didn't bother designing this car. Uh, do, do, where's the seats? Is that it? Nine. Is that it? Okay. Yeah, at least two seats. You can have as many seats as you want. But give me at least two. Uh, and the safety? At least basic 2000s. But you can have any safety, but no none safety. I want at least basic 2000s in the safety. Uh, but you can use any technology available to you. Anything. Except for what I just mentioned that you couldn't use. I, I believe that's about it for the rules. Uh, it doesn't matter how much it costs or anything like that. Well, well, we'll be looking for though is, well, I don't know if I tell you this, but, uh, yeah, I won't. I'm sorry. I was going about to tell you what scores matter most because I want you to build a car as you would build it. And then I would judge based on that. But the, I judge based on the usual stuff, the you know, the safety, reliability, the <laughs> economy is not that important for this challenge. I mean, I'm getting uh, four miles per gallon. That's, that's natural. <laughs> okay, forget economy because you have to have power to, to make it the 300 miles per hour. But yeah, a safety, reliability, and going at least 300 miles per hour. That's all that I'm worried about. I don't care about cost or fuel economy this time. And, you know, style preference. I'll be judging on style preference. Uh, I won't be trying to make the cars go 300 miles per hour because whatever, for this reason, you know, I may run out of memory, but that just, you know, I'm just rambling on right now. May run out of memory on my phone and then it just quits and saves what I recorded. But uh, I'm not going to be trying to get the vehicle to 300 mile an hour. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be taking automation's word for it that it can go 300 miles per hour. See, like if I go uh, to test track right here, it says, I don't know if you actually see it with the blurriness, but 300 miles per hour. You get as fast as you want to, 
but get it to at least 300. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going by automation's word. I'm not going to be like trying to get the vehicle at 300 mile an hour because for some reason in BMG, when you go past 250 mile an hour, the vehicle starts going side to side, having tank slapper moments and, you know, wiping out. Some vehicle, one vehicle I had that I did get up to 300 and like 17. But I'm just going to take BMG's word for it. I mean, not BMG's, but, but the automation's word for it that, that it can go 300 miles per hour. That's all that matters. And like I said, I'm not going to be trying to go in 300 mile an hour. Uh, I don't even know if I'm going for like lap times. Oh, I will be looking at like top speed, 0 to 60. A quarter mile, stop in performance. Um, oh, that's another thing. No brake fade. Uh, sorry, there's 11 rules to this. I'm glad I mentioned that, that now. No brake fade, no sport, uh, utility, whatever that other one is. No brake fade whatsoever. So I'm writing it down. No brake fade. Uh, another rule too. Does your aerodynamics... Your cooling airflow has to be at least 50. And I don't care about brake airflow, so let's write that 12 rules. I've lied so much right now. Lord forgive me. Cooling airflow, at least 50. Um, so, yeah. I mean, that's, that's basically it. I, I don't know if I actually do tight track times because I'm not a skilled driver but I would like to see if I can handle the vehicle if I can drive it and not lose control over it you know I'll see which ones do the best I think for like controllability or whatever uh so yeah I mean that's it you know yeah, I'll drive your rides and everything like that and oh I'll, I'll make an exception to this too I'll allow each person two entries you can have two entries in this con in this competition, so that's that's pretty rad. I think you know I'm not getting a lot, so many that I'm overwhelmed with recording and and I don't do any editing because uh, I just don't have the proper tools for that. Uh, and plus, you know, nobody really wants to enter a low quality video challenge like this. But uh, yeah, I allow people two entries per person. Just to make sure I don't break the 12 rules that I mentioned. I better hurry up and end this video, end this video now before I think of any more rules. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody. And I really, I'm really happy and having fun with these, looking at other people's rides and stuff like that. So, yeah, thank you so much.